beginning, man was instructed to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. He was to do this by blind, cruel instincts that govern so many of the lower animals. There are some who think that life must continue according to the brutal ways of the jungle. Of all human relationships, marriage is the most important. Only one other takes precedence, and that is one's relationship with God. A woman has been fitted by nature to care for her family. She will be far happier if she carries out her normal role in life. Oh, could I say, it was almost expected that although you were going to be together, you didn't have to be like mom and dad, you really could. It was the beginning of being together, but separately. You know, you were, it, there was, it was just being, you were just being allowed to be an individual within a marriage. Well, I guess being a single parent's not all that unique in our society these days. You know, there's a lot of people doing it, and um, uh, I don't know if you even really consider it that much of an alternate lifestyle anymore. <laughs> She will be far happier if she carries out her normal role in life. If we listen to some, we might be tempted to conclude that marriage is one long, happy romance with scarcely a cloud on the horizon. In actuality, this is never the case. For example, sometimes women forget their place in the home. Or perhaps they may become too free in their expressions. I, uh... I'm lesbian who wanted to have a child and my partner and I, um, we started looking into how to get pregnant I guess about uh, maybe five years ago and uh, there's a group of women in Toronto that get together once a month, a group of lesbians who discuss all the different ways that you can get pregnant. There shouldn't be anyone to stop us and to tell us what we can't do. Or perhaps they may become too free in their expressions. So yeah, the roles are all um, quite different from, I guess, the roles that uh, our parents grew up with in terms of, you know, who's the homemaker and who's the breadwinner. And, you know, it's been fun that way because we've both been able to take part in parenting and we've both been able to work. Well, I think our whole society is involved more into individuals. Uh, um, living life the way they want to rather than uh, trying to live up to what other people expect them to do or be. On the other hand, the man will feel assured of peace within because nervous problems that afflict so many women are unlikely to affect him. Why? Because a strong sense of security has been built into his personality during the important early years of his life. His mind has been molded by parents who are in tune with each other and with God. Um, I'm a 31-year-old gay male living on Galliano Island. I see it in a lot of ways as, yes, we've advanced and, you know, we've been able to express our, um, our uh, desires more in terms of what we want. But at the same time, I, I f see a lot of troubling areas in especially in heterosexual relationships where those roles are nagging at a man and a woman and and uh, you know who knows in a couple of decades maybe those things will have been thrown off and people can discover what their true strength is instead of feeling that they're born into it you're in you're in the middle of a culture and you you can't pretend you're not you're you're stuck in it and and if if you don't like it then there's work there's work to be done and it doesn't end and it doesn't end um, it was easier for me than it was for everyone else. Yeah. I'd been pretty out since I was probably about 13 years old. Yeah. But it didn't do um, very many positive things for my relationships with my family and my friends. A man relishes in his routine, uninterrupted, while the woman will want plenty of variety. She may then assume that he does not love her this may be very true in some instances. She then must contemplate these questions. Are you neglecting your appearance and letting yourself down in the eyes of those around you? 
Are you doing all you can to make your marriage a success? Or are you holding on to some silly habit or mannerism that irritates other people and causes them to misunderstand you? Why not take a good look at yourself and correct some of these things that annoy others? You know, I, I feel that you can't change the whole world, but you can change your little corner of it. And if <clears throat> every year of your life you can help bring to someone's focus that, you know, that, that we're people too, just one a year. Well, I think the family as we know it and sexuality as we know it has changed and evolved into something else, and yet the culture is not accommodating that change. It's not acknowledging it. It doesn't want to acknowledge it because it doesn't fuel the system that it built up in the 50s to support its economics and its oppression and its repression and blah, blah. And so, yeah, things have changed on that level, but on another level, no, they're still keeping it the same. Remember this. Happy parents create happy homes. Happy homes create happy children. Happy children create happy communities. And happy communities make a happier world. Mm -hmm.